The assassination of U.S. President James Garfield by Charles J. Guiteau is a tragic event that had a significant impact on American history. On July 2, 1881, as President Garfield walked through the Baltimore and Potomac train station in Washington, D.C., Guiteau shot him twice, claiming that he was owed a government job for his support of Garfield during the election. This heinous act not only robbed the nation of a promising leader, but also sparked important discussions and reforms in the areas of presidential security and mental health care. The president's prolonged suffering and eventual death on September 19, 1881, spurred the implementation of more stringent security measures for the nation's leaders. Additionally, the public scrutiny of Guiteau's mental state and his trial brought attention to the inadequacies of mental health care in the United States during the 19th century, ultimately contributing to a call for improved treatment and understanding of mental illness in the country. James Garfield's Presidency President James A. Garfield assumed office on March 4, 1881, following a distinguished military and congressional career. His presidency was marked by a dedication to civil rights and civil service reform, demonstrating a commitment to upholding equal rights for all Americans and improving the efficiency of government operations. Moreover, he emphasized economic and monetary policies aimed at stimulating the country's prosperity and stability. Garfield's vision for the nation was abruptly cut short by his untimely death. Mere months into his presidency, on July 2, 1881, he was struck down by an assassin's bullet at the Baltimore and Potomac Railroad Station in Washington, D.C. This tragic event not only robbed the nation of a promising leader, but also thrust it into a period of uncertainty and mourning. Charles J. Guiteau's Motives Charles J. Guiteau, a deeply troubled and embittered individual, was driven by an overwhelming sense of delusions of grandeur. He fervently believed that he played a pivotal role in James Garfield's election victory and harbored an unwavering conviction that he was owed a prominent political appointment as a reward. However, when Garfield did not bestow upon him the coveted position that he believed he deserved, Guiteau's simmering resentment boiled over into a consuming desire for vengeance. Consumed by feelings of personal betrayal and a warped sense of entitlement, Guiteau made the fateful and tragic decision to assassinate the president. His distorted perception of his own importance and his unyielding belief in his entitlement ultimately culminated in the devastating loss of President Garfield's life. Guiteau's misguided motives and deeply entrenched sense of grievance underscore a tragic tale of disillusionment and the dire consequences of unchecked delusions. The Aftermath and Reforms The assassination of President Garfield prompted a comprehensive re-evaluation of presidential security measures in the United States. The tragic event not only shocked the nation, but also exposed vulnerabilities in the protection of its highest office. In response, the government initiated the implementation of stricter security protocols. This included increasing the presence of law enforcement around the president and developing more sophisticated intelligence gathering techniques to identify potential threats. Moreover, the assassination laid the groundwork for what would become the modern Secret Service, an organization dedicated to safeguarding the president and other high-ranking officials. In addition to reshaping security measures, President Garfield's untimely death sparked a profound shift in societal attitudes towards mental health. The public outcry following the assassination brought attention to the issue of mental illness and its treatment. This newfound awareness ultimately contributed to significant reforms in the care of the mentally ill. As a direct result of the public outcry and advocacy efforts, Institutions specifically dedicated to providing proper care for individuals with mental health challenges were established. These reforms aim to provide a more compassionate and effective approach to mental health care, as well as to remove the stigma surrounding mental illness in American society. Legacy of Tragedy The assassination of President James Garfield by Charles J. Guiteau in 1881 left a lasting impact on American history. 
This tragic event led to significant improvements in presidential security and a heightened awareness of the importance of mental health care. The shocking nature of the assassination served as a wake-up call, prompting the government to reassess the security measures in place for the protection of the president and other high-ranking officials. Moreover, the profound impact of this event on the nation also highlighted the imperative of offering better mental health care and treatment to individuals who may pose a threat to society. Consequently, the legacy of this tragedy serves as a reminder of the fragility of democracy and the critical need for constant vigilance in safeguarding the leaders of the nation from harm. The enduring lessons from President Garfield's assassination continue to shape the way in which the United States ensures the safety and well-being of its leaders, thus leaving an indelible mark on the nation's history. Conclusion The assassination of U.S. President James Garfield by Charles J. Guiteau stands as a somber reminder of the dangers faced by leaders and the enduring consequences of one individual's destructive actions. This tragic event not only changed the course of history, but also prompted critical reforms in the areas of presidential security and mental health care. The public outcry and shock following the assassination led to heightened efforts to improve the protection of the president, resulting in the establishment of the Secret Service's protective mission. Additionally, the notoriety of the assassin, Charles J. Guiteau, sparked conversations about the treatment and care of individuals with mental illness. This pivotal moment in history ultimately paved the way for significant advancements in the understanding and treatment of mental health, underscoring the far-reaching impact of President Garfield's untimely death at the hands of a single assailant.